anxiety. Being full of anxiety. At the time of death, the Jamil saw three awkward persons, very fearsome in appearance, with ropes in their hands. They had twisted faces and deformed bodily features, and their hair stood on end. They had come to take Ajamil away to the shelter of Yamaraj. Ajamil became extremely bewildered when he saw them. His small child, Narayana, was playing a little distance off, and with tearful eyes and great anxiety, he called the name of his son very loudly, three times, Narayana, Narayana, Narayana. Is that three times? It said in manuscript. Hmm? It said manuscript said three times. Who said in the manuscript? There is no three times. <coughs> not not three times, one. <coughs> O oh, Nara, that's it. Oh. Did I say three times? Hmm? No, it is not said here. Should correct it. Once. Hey, O oh, Nara. That's it. <clears throat> there is no reason of calling three times. There is no mention here. Once is said. So Pasa Hastyang Stream Dishtva Purushanati Dharunan Bakrotan Tundyan Anudharumna Udharumna Atmanang Nitu Magata Dure ki naka saktyam putrang narayana havam plavitina sarupina ucchai rajuha. Ucchai rajuha. Very large. Narayan. Like that. That's all. Ucchai rajuha vo akulindriya. So you edited. It not yet. No. So you, you should keep at least what is there. <coughs> so this is the position at the time of death. Sometimes uh, you'll find the dying man is crying, akulendra, tearful eyes. Mm, cannot express. Is not practiced. But he was given the chance. Krishna gave him the consent when the child was born to keep his name Narayan. Uh, this is Krishna's mercy. That this rascal was my devotee. And now he is so fallen. All right, he is attracted to his children. So he gave the consent. Now keep your son's name, Nara. Sarvasya chaham ridishan nivishna. Krishna is situated in everyone's heart. Uh, Matta smriti jnana mapo hananju. Krishna says, from me everything, remembrance and forgetfulness, come. Those who want to forget Krishna, Krishna helps him to forget. All right, you forget. He does not give, he does not dictate from the within. And one who is foolishly in bad association, uh, unfortunately forgets Krishna, uh, then Krishna gives him chance. 
offenders are very uh, nuisance. Krishna, hmm, too much offender, purposefully, Guru Vaishnava, his position is very difficult. But by chance, if one forgets Krishna, uh, Krishna does not forget. Therefore, in the Bhagavad Gita, it is said, Opiti Sudura Charam Bhajati Mamananava Sadhureva Samantam Samak Bhavasita is. Practice, we are practiced to so many bad habits, uh, life after life in this material condition. Hmm. Sometimes one is engaged in devotional service to the Lord. Me, on account of old practice, he commits some sinful activity. Krishna forgives him. He knows that he is sincere, but on account of his old practice, he has done something mistake. There is a bhaj. Sapadamulanga bhajatam priyas. Somehow or other, you become. Recognized by Krishna, priya. Krishna may know that he is sincerely trying to do something for an Krishna does not require your service and my service. He is self service. If we render service, that is for that is good for us. Uh, Krishna is recognized, oh, now he has again begun service. That's nice. So to such person Krishna excuses. Sapadamulaka uh, bhajatam priyas. That verse, now I forget, there is a verse like. So the Ojamil, young man, on account of association with a prostitute, he lost his good character and began to maintain the prostitute by stealing, by cheating, one after another. So by mistake or on account of the age he see he became captivated by the prostitute. So Krishna was watching. Therefore uh, he gave him this chance that on account of his affection towards the child, he'll at least repeat Narayan, 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 come, Narayan, take your food, Narayan, sit down. Uh, the Bhavagrahi Janardana. Krishna is so kind. He takes the uh, purpose or the essence uh, because the holy name has its effect. So although this Ajamin, by his foolishness, he was attached to the material body of the sun, but because he was chanting Narayana, Krishna was taking that decision. Somehow or other he is chanting. The importance of chanting is so nice. So do not give up chanting. Then Krishna will protect you. This is the example. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, you practice. Naturally, when you are in danger, he will say, Hare Krishna. This must do. If you practice to do something, uh, chant Hare Krishna, then you are saved. So it is not difficult. Sincerely chant, try to avoid offense. Uh, don't try to uh, fall down purposefully for sense gratification. That is very dangerous. Uh, 
uh, he purposefully he did not fall down. Circumstance came in contact with a prostitute, could not help him. So circumstantially he fell down, not by willingly. Uh, this should be noted. Uh, willingly doing, that is very great offense. Uh, but circumstantially there is every chance, because we have fallen and practiced to man practices life after life, because material life means sinful life. You see, the old people, they do not care. They do not know even this is sinful. We say no illicit sex, no meat eating, no intoxication, and no gambling. The so Western people will think, what is this nonsense? These are the preliminary facilities for a human being, and this man is denying. They do not know him. Ah. Some of our students left this institution. They thought that Samiji is denying the primary necessities of life. They are so dull that they cannot understand this is Hindu. <clears throat> Not only an ordinary common man, even a big man, Lord Jetland in England. So one of my god brothers went to preach, and Lord Jetland, Marquis of Jetland, huh? He was known as Lord Runan He was governor of Bengal. In our college days he came to our college, Scotsman. A very gentleman and inclined to philosophy. <coughs> so he asked this God brother, can you make me Brahman? So he proposed, yes, why not? You follow these rules and regulations, you will become Brahman. So when he heard the rules and regulations, no illicit sex, no meat eating, no gambling, no intoxication, he said, oh, it is impossible, it is not possible. He flatly refused. <laughs> In our country it is not possible. It is a very difficult job, but <clears throat> if one is able to give up these sinful activities, uh, then his life is very pure. He becomes purified. And unless one is purified, he cannot chant Hare Krishna, neither he can understand Krishna consciousness. Hmm. Te dandha maha ninmakta bhajanti mahamati rabhrita. This Krishna says, one who has ended the process of sinful activities and engaged in pious activities, such person can become a firm devotee. So these four principles, as we have recommended, you must follow. There is no question of optional. I may do it, I may not do it. No, you must. Uh, otherwise the progress will be checked. <clears throat> uh, Krishna will not uh, leave you, just like the Ajami. The progress was checked, but because he did not do it willfully, therefore Krishna was giving him opportunity uh, as soon as possible again capturing him. Uh, because he did not do anything willfully. First of all, this is the condition, uh, circumstance. Therefore Krishna was very kind. He gave him the son, call him. You have affection for your son, 
all I chant Narayana by calling you, sir. This opportunity was given. <coughs> so, for his sinful activities, he saw fearful features of his order carriers of Jamadita. That is going on. <coughs> if one is not offender, then he has no chance even to see the Jamadita. But because uh, willfully or non willfully he was engaged in sinful activities, associating the prostitute and for maintaining the prostitute, he was uh, planning so many sinful activities, cheat and take others' money and enjoy. For that reason he had to see. And if he remains pure, he hasn't got to see. This is the difference. So uh, <coughs> regular resultant action <coughs> of sinful life, one has to. Just like Yudhishthir Maharaj. Yudhishthir Maharaj was advised by Krishna that you go to Dunacharya and tell him the lies. What is that? They would tell him that your son Asatthama is dead. <coughs> because Dhunacharya had some benediction that unless he is shocked by the death of his son, he will never die. So Krishna had to take this diplomatic because it is politics. So Krishna because Dhanacharya will not believe anyone. He knew that Maharaj Yudhishthir is the most pious man. He never tells lies. So he, Maharaj Yudhishthir goes and says that your son is dead. Then he will. Otherwise Krishna could have gone personally. But he knew that people do not believe him. <laughs> it's very tricky. <laughs> so, therefore, no tricky man can excel him. A man may be very tricky, very intelligent, but he will not be able to excel Krishna. He is more tricky. Just like in his childhood, uh, Krishna was naughty, the mother wanted to bind him. So Krishna also became tricky. Uh, mother, first of all, brought some rope and bound, and when it was to be knotted, it was short. Uh, and then, then again she joined another rope. In this way, whatever rope store she had, she brought one after another, and at last, when nothing, it is too. Uh, what is called? Uh, a short. <clears throat> so, she, Krishna thought, Mother, eh, nobody can bind me, and, and because I have sex, accepted to become your child, you are trying to bind me. All right, you bring your all ropes. You'll never be able to bind me. This is Krishna. <coughs> but Mother Jasoda is the greatest devotee. So when Krishna saw that my mother is now exhausted, but spirit, all right, you can bind me. This is, you have seen in the Krishna book. So jī jathāmāṁ prapaddhante tāṁ sathaiva vajāmā. If you want to play tricks with Krishna, Krishna is the greater trick. You will never be able That is our mistake, that we think 
that I am so intelligent, I can do something without the knowledge of Krishna. That is our foolishness. Krishna says, sarvasya ca hangari I am sitting in everyone's heart. How you can cheat him? It is not possible. Don't try to cheat Krishna. Uh, don't try to cheat Guru. Don't try to cheat Krishna. Then your progress is sure. <clears throat> Guru Krishna Kripaya Pai Bhakti Lata Vij. You are singing daily. Sri Guru Charana. What is that? Sri Guru. Hmm? Uh, uh, no, there. Guru Mukha Padmapa. Chittite Kuriya. Don't try to cheat Guru. Then progress will be checked. Acharyanga mana vijāṇyāta nāva manneta karīcī nāvartyā buddhyā asvīyeta sarvudīva mayā guru. Acharyanga mana vijāṇyāta, Krishna says, acharyanga means I am. Nāva manneta karīcī, do not try to neglect. Nāvartyā buddhyā asvīyeta do not consider acharya, spiritual master, as ordinary human being, and become envious. These things are worn. Acharya mag bijanya nava manneta kari namartha buddhya asiyata. Familiarity breeds contempt. That is not good. Similarly, because by the mercy of Acharya, by the mercy of Guru, you will get Krishna. Huh? You sing that. Krishna Pati Jaha What is that? Huh? Huh? Krishna Pati Hoya Jaha What is that? Language? No, no, what is that Bengali language? You cannot, you are singing daily. Abhidya Vinasya Jati Krishna Prapti Hoya. These are the things. Abhidya Vinasya Jati. Abhidya means ignorance. We are full of ignorance. So, Guru's duty is to open the eyes and by opening your eyes, he will give you Krishna. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, this is the process. So you should be uh, very much uh, careful uh, not to cheat Krishna, not to cheat Guru, and uh, become, become very sincere and follow. Then it is good. Guru Krishna Kripaya Pai Bhakti Lata Bij. Uh, two things required. You cannot jump over Krishna neglecting Krishna, uh, Guru. Then it is finished. Uh, if you want to jump over Krishna without uh, favor of the Guru, Krishna is not so easy. Uh, so, these things should be very carefully observed. No offense, sincerely follow. Then Krishna will protect and your progress in Krishna consciousness to go back to home, back to Godhead, uh, will be assured, ensured. Uh, so this man circumstantially fell down, so Krishna is saving him. Uh, Krishna is saving him and he will be saved, we shall see in the following passage. Thank you very much.